I'm just going to start setting up some boxes, show you how I do it. It doesn't take a lot of effort, and I might not talk too much, but here it is. Side panels, handle at the top, bracket, beehive at the bottom, facing out. Beehive, beehive, handle, inside screws, first ones to be put in. Small screws. Other side, beehive, facing out. Take the film off. Handle, facing up. Now we're going to put together the side panels, or the end panels. They just slide right in there. I'm making a house. Now on the outside. But first, because this is so hard, I have to have my rock star. one panel connected to the side panel. Now we're going to connect this one to here. There's something really surprising that's going to happen with this box in just a moment. And you'll be able to witness it. Never seen ever before. That's the inside. Now there's three panels. We have the last panel to put on. This is our Echo B box with our hive armor done with just the regular wood rabbits. The sides, the inside locking mechanism to prevent from warping. There's no dados on this box at all. From here, you can either add a wood panel and have it as a regular box, but in this case, we have something that's a surprise for you. We have a three quarter inch piece of acrylic that you can see through notched on the bottom. Now you might think 
what happens with the frame rest. We have a patent pending frame rest made out of PVC. Durable, strong. There's our observation hive Langstroth box. We also have these coming in brass and copper and these in brass and copper. We have another bracket that does not wrap on the top and the bottom. It's a basic that's our box. So here's a styrofoam box, which you think would be fairly weak. Here's our wooden box that we just made. Here's my weight of 220 pounds. Strong. And that's without any screws in the bottom. Thank you.